Welcome to Kayo Conversation and we are continuing our apostolic prophetic training. Remember, like, share, subscribe. I have intentionally been inviting you to be my guest on Kayo Conversation. You are my special guest. And I'm excited about the apostolic prophetic training because the word of the Lord came in the beginning of the year that there's going to be an outpouring of glory in believers. There's going to be miracles, signs and wonders. There are going to be, um, when you look at the whole 2020 and the fact that the, the, in the Hebrew calendar, 2020 is 5780, then, then you know something is happening. And so the 2020 means we're going to have vision to see more. I tell you people, we're going to be, we're going to see angels now as never before. And I'm telling the people, expect them even in your home, because it's going to be a collaboration with angels, because what God is doing in a world that is crying out now, um, we need angelic help. <laughs> we are sitting here and, you know, I was praying this morning and just repenting because I say, God, you know, the world is getting darker and darker and darker. Um, and now nature is getting fiercer and fiercer and fiercer. Things are happening. Um, talk of epidemics. There's no safe place. I mean, it, 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 it is critical that we need God. And I believe we're going to see God. You know, the, it says in Isaiah 40 that we will, the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all mankind together will see it. And the mouth of the Lord has spoken that. So we want to welcome those that are watching. And remember to tell your friends to tune in now because Kyle Conversation has started and we're continuing in our apostolic prophetic training. And so the word of the Lord, not only did God says that mankind can see it, but I love when he says that we'll see it together. Together we will see it. So we are going to be see it as we unify ourselves, we will see it together. All right. And then when we look at, 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 at the different thing about Elisha praying, open up the eyes of my servants so that they can see the glory of God. And we, and we are believing that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And then we talk also about not only seeing, but hearing the secret wisdoms of God. There are things that God is going to reveal to his people. Why? Because he wants to promote you. He wants to expose his brilliance through you. He wants to bless you. And he wants you to be his servant. Servant of what he hears. Like Joseph, you're going to hear something that nobody else hears. Like Daniel, you're going to hear the secret wisdom. And today now we want to talk about speaking like God. We're going to see as God sees in three dimensions. We're going to see naturally, spiritually. We're going to even see the future. The prophetic glory is going to rise upon you. We're going to hear the voice of God, the word of the Lord. We're going to be solutionists. We're going to be more creative. And then speaking like God, confronting Pharaohs, confronting Goliaths, confronting Hamans, confronting Jezebels. This is what has happened in the past and God says now because the enemy is getting fiercer and because Isaiah says as you see the darkness increase then the glory of the Lord is going to increase upon you then we must expect that the glory is going to increase. We want to welcome Glenda and Philroy and Mike Fanusi. Please let us know where you are calling from or seeing from or where you live so that we know what nations are with us today. And we are talking about 2020 outpouring of glory on believers and on the earth. And then now to speak like God. Now, you know that Jesus gave the disciples a promise in Matthew 16, 16. And you know, so the, Jesus said to the disciples, who are people saying that I am? And they begin to say, oh, they think you are Elijah. And they begin to tell him all kinds of things. Maybe you're not, maybe you're a false prophet. But then Jesus says, who do you think I am? Because it was important that his disciples knew who he was because who they saw him as is who he was going to be in them and with them. And so who do you think I am? And then Simon says, you are the Christ, 
the son of the living God. Now, why is that important? Because the Christ, the son of the living God is in you. Kyle glory is the powerful, great glory of Christ in every believer, regardless of where you live, regardless of how much money you have, you're living a hut, you're living a palace, the same God is in you. Whether you are 10 years old or 100 years old, the same God is in you. And so Peter says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. What is the Christ? The anointed one. And Jesus described what this anointing is for. Anointed to heal the brokenhearted, to set the captives free. And, and you know, we know, we saw the anointing when he was here. He was healing the sick. He was driving out demons. That anointing is now in you. And I tell you people, his anointing is apostolic prophetic. Because the apostolic means that you are the sent one. He said, as the Father sent me, I send you. And then he says, you are the son of the living God, which means he is the savior of the world, the eternal savior. And then Jesus was just rejoicing and said, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. Nobody told you that. That was the Father that revealed that to you. And what Peter heard, people of God, is what we want to release today in you. He said to Peter, Peter, on this revelation, on this rock, I will build my church, the Ecclesia. And then he says, the gates of hell will not overcome it. Number one, there is no gates of Hades or wickedness can overcome you. What he said to Peter, because when he says, I'm building my church, he's not talking about a building with a stained glass. He's talking about believers. We are are the church of Jesus Christ. We are the living stones that make up the church of Jesus Christ. He is the chief cornerstone. So I'm declaring to you that the gates of Hades will not overcome you. And I don't know who is watching here that you needed to hear that because this is the prophetic. This is speaking the word of God and the word of God will perform it. You will speak like God. Now you need to take that word and begin to open your mouth and declare with me, the gates of my enemy will not overcome me. God says, I will watch over the word that you speak and I will perform it. So you need to start now speaking apostolically with, with power, with authority, like God. God said to Moses, I have made you like God before Pharaoh. So when you go before Pharaoh, declare the word of the Lord. God has told, told me to give you a message. Let my people go that they may worship me. That is the word of the Lord that you must go to Pharaoh and say, and when you go before Pharaoh, know that I've made you like God. Apostolic means sent one, but it also means authority. It also means dominion. It also means power. It also means birthing. And people of God, this apostolic grace is upon you because God, Jesus gave this to every believer and we need to start walking in this grace. He says the gates of hell will not overcome you. Therefore, whatever attack it is, if it's a sickness, declare it will not overcome me. If it's, if it's a satanic attack, declare it will not overcome me. Oh, we just want to welcome Susan Toledo and Donnell and Tim some of these people traveled and are now back home and I declare that whatever the enemy has against you it will not prosper I need you to speak like Moses tonight I want to trigger you tonight to speak like God or today whatever time you're watching this because it's different time zones that is watching it but today declare whatever that weapon is I want you to write it down and remember you're my guest so you need to be commenting on what I'm saying. You need to be asking questions so I know what to answer you. And then you need to keep going because this is not going to stop after I finish here. We will continue with the conversation. Those that are from Detroit, welcome as you come. Lula, oh, welcome as you come. People of God, I am saying to you, you will speak like God. That's one of the promises 
And God says, I will watch over my word to perform it. As a matter of fact, if you look into what God says, he swore on this. In Numbers 14, 21, God says, as truly as I live, all the earth will be filled with the glory of the Lord. And so that is powerful. And so he swore that the earth is going to be filled with the Lord. That, that means it's going to be happening just as he said. And just as he declared, it will be filled with the Lord. That is what God is saying. And then he said, I will watch over my word to perform it. So I'm now telling you what he said. You just take what he said like Moses and just repeat it. That's all. But when you say it, say it with the authority, the apostolic grace, because he's given you power. And he says that the gates of hell will not overcome you. You are the church of God if you believe in Christ. Then he said, I will give you the keys to the kingdom. Hold up your hand and say, God, I receive the keys of the kingdom. Because that is apostolic. He has given you power. He's given you authority. I gave you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What does a key does? It opens and it closes. Tonight, you can open gates of glory, not only over yourself, but in your family life, in your business, in, in, in your ministries, in every area. Let, come on, take that key tonight, man. We're not going to fool with this word because God watches over his word to perform it. So take the key. I'm handing it to you right now. Put your hands out and do a prophetic act and say, I take the key in the name of Jesus and I now have the keys of the kingdom. What does it mean? Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Your voice is a weapon. Your voice was given to you to speak like God. He could have made us animals, but he made us sons and daughters. And he says, Moses, when you go before Pharaoh, speak like God. And you watch what Pharaoh will do. And people of God, on this time, when we're going to speak the word of the Lord, God says he will be sinking with you that as you speak, he performs. I watch over my word that you speak and I will perform what you say. If you say I am healed, I heal you. I give you the key to open your mouth and let your voice open and close doors. Let your voice bind enemies. Let your voice lose goodness and mercy. This is apostolic prophetic training. So then he says the keys of the kingdom, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. What are some of the things you need to bind? You need to, be, to, to bind satanic interference against you, against your business, against your body, against your ministry, whatever it is. Whatever you bind on earth tonight will be bound in heaven because you're not just binding it by yourself. We are binding together. The Bible says the glory of the Lord shall be seen and all mankind together shall see it. I'm believing for you and I want you to believe for me. We're going to bind every principalities, every powers, every rulers of darkness, every spiritual wickedness in high or low places that is coming against your mind, that is coming against your family, that is coming against your body, that is coming against your finances, that is coming against your ministry, that is coming against everything that God has given you. Take that key, hold it out, speak out, hold out the key in front of you, but in a prophetic act and say, in the name of Jesus, I bind the forces of evil that will block my blessing. Now just begin to thank God. It means that Satan is arrested. You understand what I'm saying? Pharaoh cannot destroy you because you're speaking like God now. You're not just speaking like Susan. You're not just speaking like Dawn. You're just not speaking like Eric. You're not just speaking like Joseph. You are speaking like God. He says, go before Pharaoh like God. What does that mean? You're speaking like God. God. I'm not speaking like Pat Francis tonight. I am speaking like God and I declare that every weapon that is formed against you shall not prosper and every tongue that rises up against us is condemned in Jesus' name.
Come on, let's take that key again because it says whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Come on now, people, decide what do you want to lose. Do you need miracles? Do you need healing? Do you need open doors? Do you need opportunities? You decide because God has given you the key tonight and tonight is the night for your miracle. So in the name of Jesus, in the name say, I loose my family into household salvation. I loose blessing. I loose financial blessing. I loose open doors. I loose opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. I loose opportunity to minister in the name of Jesus. I loose Loose my healing in the name of Jesus. Come on, I want to see you with your hands out like this because you're holding a key. Say, I loose healing to my body in the name of Jesus. Set your face like a flint and speak like God. That is your apostolic authority that we're talking about, people of God. And so he said, the loose. Come on, what are you losing right now? Oh, people of God, let's not, let's not waste these keys. <laughs> let's not waste these keys, man. God says, I give you keys to the kingdom of heaven. In other words, there is agreement. You speak on earth, heaven say yes and amen. Then you say yes and amen. You're understanding the cycle and how things are sinking now because the apostolic prophetic glory is being released in you. You're going to speak like God and God will perform it in Jesus name. People, we're going to grow. We're going to go into the realm. I mean, Elijah says, look, it will not rain until I say so. That man of God. And then God turned around and said, he's a man like you and I. He, he had issues, but he believed in God. And God believed in him. So God opened doors that no man can shut. He knew that he could trust Elijah with this great glory. Are you going to believe in this great glory? And then can God trust you? Because even as we're in this move of God, remember, glory comes with an assignment. And so God is going to use you to save many people. Because I tell you people, the world is groaning. And what are they groaning for? They're groaning for the sons of God to be revealed. Who can I go to healing for healing? Who can I go to deliverance? Who can I go? The darkness is taking over my mind. I have uh, billions of dollars and I can't stop this darkness in my head. I am famous and I can't stop darkness in my head. Well, hello, I have the cure for darkness. Jesus is the light of the world. And every believer in Christ is a vessel of light. People of God, if you believe in Christ, you're a vessel of light tonight. And we're not going to fool with this privilege to be the light of the world. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine. Because if there's, if I hear this darkness thing anymore, everybody, you know, even the suicide packs that happening, people are even telling their friends, yes, kill yourself, kill yourself, get out of the darkness. They don't have any cure for the darkness. Well, we have the cure for darkness, sweetheart. It's you, 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 you are the light of the world. And in the name of Jesus, we're not going to hide this light. We're not going to put it under a bushel. We're going to shine for Jesus. Well, I am so excited that you're here tonight to grow in apostolic prophetic glory. Because what we're doing is we're seeing like God, we're hearing the secret wisdoms of God, and we're learning how to speak like God, like Moses, so that God can perform what you say. Well, keep sending all the, the questions that you have. Send all the comments that you have because I tell you, thousands of people are listening to this apostolic training and I want to invite you to make sure May 13th to the 17th, you're going to come to Toronto so we can celebrate together, grow together. We have some giants that are coming from all over the world that are influencing thousands and thousands of youth. They are influencing cities, not just a house. And that apostolic prophetic glory is going to rise upon believers because it's going to be training. So May 13th to 17, 2020, 
send for us send if you want letters for visas let us know write to me kyle at patfrancis.org let us know so that we can help you to come to toronto for more and live apostolic prophetic training the theme is that the a glory of the Lord, outpouring of the glory of the Lord, the awakening of the glory of God is going to happen. The floodgates of heaven is going to open up people of God. And when I say floodgates, you're going to learn when we say gates, we're not just talking about the gates in heaven. I'm talking about the gates in you that need to be opened up. Okay, but well, God bless you, and we see you next week, same time, for more apostolic prophetic training. And remember, we are a Kyle generation.